Hey everybody, uh, my name is Alexander Henios and I am one of the co-founders of Cypher Health. Uh, we are a New York City based healthcare IT company founded in 2009 and we're really focused on the patient communication space. And our first foray into this is actually Cypher Voice, which is a product focused around care transitions. So Cypher Voice is a patient follow-up platform and generally as a company what we believe is that every single patient that has uh, recently experienced an acute episode really deserves some type of follow-up care. And that's why, as a company, we've created uh, multiple modules to follow up with different cohorts of patients. So we have ED-specific modules, we have a general inpatient module, as well as more disease-specific programs around CHF, COPD, and pneumonia readmission reductions. Uh, the goal uh, of these programs is really to reach out to patients within 48 hours of leaving the hospital and ask them key transition of care issues around discharge instructions, follow-up appointment, medication usage and side effects, as well as more specific questions for uh, the disease-specific programs. What we then do is, let's say I'm a patient and on the call I say that I'm having questions around medication usage and side effects. We then send an alert uh, back to the pharmacy department from that hospital so that they can, you know, resolve that specific issue that the patient had. Uh, the whole goal of the program is to get the right folks at the hospital uh, to resolve the, the issues that they're most capable of resolving. After the pharmacist actually receives the alert, what they'll do is log into our web application and, be able, and this web application enables them to uh, store and track all the different work that they do on the actual follow-up call. Uh, now this input actually gives us as a company a lot of power to create really interesting and meaningful reports for our hospitals. Uh, so what we have become is basically a data aggregator. We're able to take data from the hospital about basic demographic information. We're also able to take data from the patients uh, as they input information into our call program. Finally, we also uh, take data from uh, the end user of the application who tracks all the work that he or she is doing in the actual program. Uh, and what the aggregation of this data allows us to do is answer some really fundamental questions that hospitals have never had the chance to you know, really experience before. Uh, so a hospital administrator can now know that, okay, it's my Medicaid population age 40 to 50 that's accounting for 55% of my medications issues on these four units. The nurse managers from those four units subsequently get together and create these micro-projects where they try and uh, generally improve operations on, the, on those floors. And uh, it's those type of micro-projects and the learning uh, from this data that has really enabled our clients to show the sustained results that they have right now. And it's because of these results that I think we've been able to expand from our first hospital client that we acquired at the end of 2010 to 14 hospitals that we're in as of today. Um, and one of the things that gets me really excited about the partnerships that we're forming with our hospitals is the fact that every single hospital you know, starts with about you know, one program where they'll pick up an inpatient program or you know, an ER program. Uh, but every single hospital that we currently have has actually expanded the use of their programs and where they're using inpatient, ER, CHF, COPD, so they really see the value that we're able to deliver. Um, the next thing that's really, really exciting to me about our growth trajectory is really around the results that we're able to deliver. So every single one of our hospitals has seen either an increase in HCAP scores or a reduction in readmissions. Across the board, our HCAP uh, scores have increased anywhere from 5 to 20 points, and uh, our readmission rate has dropped uh, from 30 to 40% uh, at our hospitals that are using our CHF program. So we've achieved some pretty compelling results, but I'm really excited by the unique opportunity that the Accelerator would offer us. Uh, the first uh, benefit that I see is really unparalleled access to New York City healthcare leadership. I think we've developed a pretty unique offering with Cypher Voice, but at the same time, I really think that we've only hit the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we can actually do. I see opportunities for us to expand into LTCs and SNFs as well as uh, the home care setting, and I'd really like the opportunity to vet these ideas with senior New York City healthcare leadership. Uh, the second opportunity I see is really around long-term vision and growth for the company. So we've already expanded our offering upstream into the uh, hospital setting uh, with our secondary product called the Concierge, which is a patient tablet that sits at the bedside and allows uh, the patient uh, better access to their care team while they're in the hospital. Um, but I also see opportunities for us to expand into lifetime health management where we're able to follow up with patients beyond that 30-day readmission win window, where we're really uh, the provider and aggregator of information for patients throughout the course of their lifetime. Uh, finally, uh, the other huge benefit for us would be access to other people in the New York City uh, startup community. We're not a company based out of the Hive or one of those other tech hubs, so the opportunity to collaborate, share best practices, and just generally engage with other folks that are uh, working on the same types of issues that we are would be really, really exciting for us. So I hope that uh, you all have enjoyed uh, learning a little bit more about Cypher Health, and I really thank you for your consideration during this process. 
and I look forward to a continuing discussion.